We now want to calculate the uh, radius of a, uh, a nucleus, um, radon nucleus in a particular example, radon 222. And to do so, we'll use the knowledge gained by scattering experiments that tells us if we assume the nucleus is a sphere, and it's probably not too far off, the radius is about 1.2 times 10 to the minus 15. And then we multiply by the atomic number to the one-third power, the atomic mass number, um, the count of protons and neutrons, that total count. Each proton and each neutron contribute some volume and build up this spherical shape. For this particular situation, we have 222 is our A value. It's been provided to us. So our radius is about 1.2. 10 to the minus 15, 222 to the one third power. It means you t need to take a cube root. You need to practice that with your uh, your calculator. And I believe you will have a value of around 6.055 for that cube root of 222. And then multiplying by the 1.2, so we're doing the radius uh, all along here. And Approximately, if we assume a sphere, 7.27, 10 to the minus 15 meters. That typical um, radius for the nucleus on the order of 10 to the minus 15 meters. So that's straightforward. Just make sure you don't use just the protons. You don't just use the neutrons here. You use the total count of nucleons, the atomic mass number. Now, we'd like to calculate the density of this nucleus, the density of this nucleus. Though there are several steps involved here, going back to our definition of density, density is mass divided by volume. So we need the mass of one nucleus and the volume of one nucleus. So let's work on the mass first. The M, we need to start with our atomic mass number. This tells us approximately how many grams there are for a mole of the material. So roughly 222 grams per mole. And now we can use Avogadro's number to get down to one nucleus. So one mole, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And uh, the moles will cancel. We're down just to uh, the one nucleus. And our mass number is about 3.688 times 10 to the minus 22 grams. Or if we go to standard units, the kilograms, 3.688 10 to the minus 25 kilograms. So we've done the mass. Now the volume. For the volume, we use the uh, fact that we're assuming that we're in a sphere shape. 4 thirds pi r cubed is our volume. And in part A, we calculated the volume. So we do 4 thirds pi 7.27 times 10 to the minus 15. And we need to cube that. And we come up with a volume. If you go ahead, you have, you have to pause and uh, do this on your own calculator. And I came up 1.609, 10 to the minus 42 cubic meters. We're ready now to calculate the density. We uh, combine these two numbers, the mass of one nucleus, 3.688, 10 to the minus 25 kilograms. And the volume of one nucleus, 1.609, 10 to the minus 42 cubic meters. Again, you should pause, try this calculation on your own. And uh, perhaps you'll come up with 2.29 rounded off, 10 to the 17th kilograms per cubic meter. What's that mean? Uh, don't have much to compare that to, and you're, you're right. Uh, you know, ice is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. Rock is about 3,000 kilograms per cubic meter. Lead is about 11,000 
kilograms per cubic meter, we're nowhere near this, uh, this number of 10 to the 17th. Uh, one kind of interesting calculation would be, what if the Earth had the density of the nucleus? What would the radius of the Earth be? So this is just a little side calculation here. What would the radius of the Earth be if uh, the density of the Earth was this nuclear type density? Well, <coughs> density is mass over volume. So I'll rearrange this. Volume is mass over the density. And you can look up the mass of the Earth, 5.97, 10 to the 24th kilograms. And now let's use this density number, 2.29 times 10 to the 17th kilograms per cubic meter. And we come up with a, um, a volume here, 2.605 times 10 to the 7th cubic meters. Now that, that sounds pretty big, but let's calculate the radius. So now I'll put in the equation for the volume, 4 thirds pi r cubed. Um, so 4 thirds pi r cubed is this uh, uh, volume number, 2.605 times 10 to the seventh cubic meters. You ought to pause and do this calculation. You're going to multiply by 3, you're going to divide by 4, you're going to divide by pi. That'll get you r cubed. And for r cubed, it should come up 6.2199 10 to the sixth. Again, cubic meters. And now take a cube root of that, and you come up with um, 184 meters, 184 meters, 184 meters, that's you know, roughly uh, two city blocks for the radius. And the diameter, you know, roughly four city blocks. The whole Earth would fit in a sphere that has a diameter of four city blocks. Nuclear material is incredibly dense, and we get very small objects when we have nuclear material. If you want a little outside reading, read about neutron stars. So that's where we're going to uh, stop this little exercise. From scattering experiments, the radius uh, can be computed, approximate radius if we assume a sphere. Take a cube root of the atomic mass number, multiply by the constant in front. To do density, mass over volume, we take advantage of the number of grams per mole, Avogadro's number, to get the mass of one nucleus. We use 4 thirds pi r cubed for the volume of the sphere. Mass divided by volume gives us our density. So keep practicing.